every couple in the Naruto franchise ranked. The Naruto series has seen its fair share of love stories and relationships, with lots of different couples showing up in the franchise. With the beginning of Boruto, Naruto Next Generations, fans got to see what happened to the Naruto cast after they grew up. Many settled down and had families, leaving their time as shinobi behind. This later leads to a new generation of characters populating the Boruto manga series. And while it may never have been the focus of the series, Naruto is home to many different couples each with their own stories. Some are tragic and some are endearing. Today we present you with a list of every couple mentioned throughout the Naruto franchise and rank them based on who had the best relationship. 14. Sasuke Sakura, turned out as well as fans expected. Teased since the beginning of the series, Sasuke and Sakura show fans a rather heartbreaking setup as while they do have a daughter together. Sarada, Sasuke is not present for her upbringing, spending the majority of his time away either following his own interests or protecting the village. This leaves Sakura having to raise their daughter entirely by herself. Neither party seems to cooperate or mesh well with the other and the series never shows any unique dynamics or development for the characters. Sakura claims to still see the good in Sasuke. Whilst he shows little interest in her. 13. Naruto, Hinata, Great Couple, Not Great Parents Naruto and Hinata rank low on the list as while Naruto was present for the birth of his children, his continuous focus on his duties as Hokage has left his son to resent him and the title. Whilst they are happy together and mesh well creating a peaceful home life, Naruto's negligence of his children shows signs that he hasn't matured quite as much as we were lead to believe. Hinata seems to understand Naruto's work pressures and reassures their son, Boruto, that he has the village's best interest in mind. 12. Emperor Tenji Princess Kagaya, A Forbidden Love An important relationship story-wise as it sets into motion many aspects of both Madara's and Kagaya's plan. The relationship between Princess Kagaya and the Emperor Tenji is very quickly glossed over. Only briefly mentioning her pregnancy before her death and never delving deep into their story. However, due to Kagaya never officially becoming Empress, their relationship is private from others. The series never shows its development or goes beyond the sparse details in the story, so fans can never accurately say how positive it was. 11. Kizashi Mabuki, the most normal couple of the series. Only appearing in the sixth Shippuden film, we never learn much about Kizashi and Mabuki. However, they seem genuinely happy together. And assuming their relationship carries over to the primary Naruto world, as Sakura's parents they work together to instill a dedicated work ethic into their daughter. And after she goes missing during the course of the sixth film, they worriedly search for her throughout the village. A couple that sits primarily in the background of the series, Kizashi and Mabuki's care and cooperation would rank them higher if they were more present in the story. 10. Fugaku Mikoto, Proud Parents of the Uchiha Clan The parents of both Itachi and Sasuke, Fugaku and Mikoto Uchiha showed a very happy relationship. Although only seen in brief flashbacks from Sasuke's perspective it is possible he only sees them in a romanticized view. Yet throughout the story we never hear of any conflict or fights between them. Proud members of the Uchiha clan, they pass their traditions down to their children. Even in their clan's plan to assassinate the rest of the village. They showed complete cooperation. 9. Hashirama Mido, a couple that started a legacy. Hashirama and Mido's relationship led to the first instance of an Uzumaki sealing a tailed beast within themselves. Not much is known about Mido aside from being from a powerful clan herself. Her betrothal to the first Hokage already asserts her place as a powerful figure in the early ninja world, even battling alongside her husband during the Warring States period against the Uchiha. 
more development on their relationship would probably introduce a new form of power couple into the series, their strong bond led to the evolution of the ninja world after all. 8. Hei Yugao, Tragedy That Led to Resolution A tragic story for the Naruto world, Hei 8 and Yugao's relationship is cut short after Hei 8 is killed by Baki in the first part of the series. His partner Yugao vows to avenge his murder as a member of the Umbu Black Ops. We see her visit his grave many times throughout the series, showing that she did truly love him. Though we never see them on screen together, Yugao's refusal to give in leads her to battle a resurrected Hei 8 during the Fourth Great Ninja War. After much internal debate, Yugao finally avenges the death of her lover by putting him to rest. 7. Kiba, Tamaki, Beauty the Beast Although not clearly stated as a couple, Kiba and Tamaki have been seen throughout the Boruto series attending events together or passing through the village together with their pets. However, the Naruto exhibition booklet, Book of Thunder, contains the one-shot story, The Beast That Was Shot by Love, that tells the story about how Kiba and Tamaki met, and the book Kanoha Haiden, The Perfect Day for a Wedding further discusses their relationship after Tamaki moves to Kanoha. And they aren't seen together again until the new era after most likely getting together. 6. Choji Karui, A Love Worth A Thousand Miles Throughout the book, Sakura Haiden, Thoughts of Love, Riding upon a spring breeze, we are told that Choji often makes excuses to travel all the way to Kumogakure to see Karui. And in Sasuke Shinden, Book of Sunrise we learn that Kaori also makes an effort to keep in contact with Choji. In the epilogue of Naruto, we see that they have already gotten married and have a daughter named Chocho. Their relationship throughout Boruto seems to be rather normal, with the regular ups and downs of marriage, however, they struggle to teach their daughter her bloodline techniques. 5. Tsunade Dan, A Story of Love and Loss After being fatally wounded during the Second Great Ninja War, Dan died in the arms of his partner Tsunade who despite being trained in medical ninjutsu, failed to stop his blood loss. The weight of Dan's death set Tusnade down a path of alcoholism and isolation that was only resolved when she met Naruto and Jiraiya. Dan's death caused her to leave Kanoha and her duties as a shinobi and her place as one of the former Sanin. Though we never see them together on screen, Tsunade and Dan clearly had a meaningful relationship. 4. Sai Ino, A Welcome Surprise to the Series Unlike most of the secondary cast relationships, Sai and Ino's relationship began at the beginning of Shippuden after the two met in the hospital while Sai's team was there to meet Kakashi. Sai and Ino had a back-and-forth relationship with subtle nods until finally, it came to fruition during the blank period and she rescued Sai from Jango's Jinjutsu. Their relationship progresses throughout the Naruto stories that all take place after the main series with Sai taking Ino's family name after living with none of his own. In Boruto, they have a son named Inijin who shares his father's passion for art. 3. Asuma Kurinai, A Love Story Cut Short Both Kurinai and Asuma were well-respected jonin and were in a semi-secret relationship. Both managing their own teams, they were often seen discussing their students together. While they were never married, following Asuma's death at the hands of the Akatsuki member Haydn, Kurinai gives their daughter his family name, Sarutobi. Kurinai herself also changed her name to Sarutobi at a later point in the series. Her daughter, Mirai Sarutobi, appears as a jonin who holds great respect for her father, often found speaking to a photo of him. 2. Shikamaru, Temari, Two Fan Favorites A relationship that initially began as mutual respect between two shinobi, Shikamaru and Temari saw one another as equals during the Chunin exams. With Skiamaru even believing that Temari would beat him. As her escort at the beginning of Shippuden, the two are able to learn more about each other, 
and Tamari is surprised to see Shikamaru see her off before she leaves. Which heavily contrasts his normally lazy nature. Their relationship formally begins after the defeat of Jango during the blank period when Shikamaru asks Tamari on a date. This then progresses to the new era where they are married and have a son. Shikadai 1. Minato Kushina, the definitive power couple. A power couple of the Naruto universe, Minato and Kushina, are two very successful shinobi in their own right. Minato being the fourth Hokage. And Kushina sealing the nine-tailed fox within herself. Their relationship began when they were genin, Minato rescuing Kushina from bandits who kidnapped her because of her Uzumaki heritage. After the birth of their son, with the nine-tailed fox released, Minato and Kushina fought tooth and nail to keep their son safe, giving their lives in the process, and sealing a portion of the fox spirit within their son. Naruto, setting off the story of the series. <laughs>